Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can add your phone to your Chromebook if you have an Android device that supports this. Um, what this does is it allows you to do a few things. Uh, one of them is kind of quote unquote unlock your Chromebook um, by using the authentication on your phone, um, like the fingerprint sensor on your phone and stuff like that, just to quickly log in um, if you need to. Um, from a full restart of your Chromebook, you will have to log in manually, um, but this is if it was just kind of in sleep mode and things like that, you can use this. Um, it'll also set up your text messages to, for you and a few other things as well. So to go ahead and do this, you want to jump into your settings on your Chromebook by going to the bottom right hand corner and selecting the settings icon. And from here, you can see uh, connected devices, Android phone. We're going to go ahead and tap setup. And here it gives you a few things you can do. Connect to your phone. Uh, your Chromebook and Android phone will work better together. Connect to them um, so you can text from your computer, share your internet connection, and unlock your Chromebook with your phone. So you can see select a device. Um, I have a few different devices here. Um, and once you selected the correct device, you're going to hit accept and continue. And then it wants you to type in your password. And so now it says that we're all set and you should be good to go. And we'll click done. And once we've done that, you'll see on your phone, you get a notification that says linked to your Chromebook. And we'll go ahead and tap that on our phone. And now we can see we are linked and we are good to go. So now if we go back to our Chromebook here, you can click on the phone there and you can see what is turned on. So we can see smart lock is turned on. It says unlock your Chromebook with your phone. And you can choose your few different options here. Just unlock the device or unlock and sign into your Google account. So sometimes instead of typing in your password through various things, it'll just ask you to use your fingerprint or something on your phone to verify that it's you. Instant tethering. Um, that's another one that's kind of handy. So say um, you're traveling somewhere or you're out and about and you open up your Chromebook and it doesn't sense uh, a Wi-Fi connection around that you've logged into before. Um, what it'll do, or if it senses no Wi-Fi connection at all, what it'll do is it'll talk to your phone that's probably in your pocket or nearby and automatically turn on your phone's mobile hotspot and connect to that automatically. So you can leave that on or off if you want to, but it's kind of handy if you travel a lot. Now the last thing here is messages. Um, this is for text messages and it's not set up yet because we still have to kind of do that manually. So we're gonna tap on set up. And once we do that, um, it's gonna go have, ahead and have us go on our phone into messages. And you want to tap the three dots on the top right hand corner and tap messages for web. Tap QR scanner. You just go ahead and scan that. And now you're linked. Um, it also has video calls tied with Duo if you want to use that as well. That's on there. And from here, you can start your chatting, uh, send text messages to um, all the users and everything like that just like you normally would on your phone. Um, an important thing to keep in mind about this is your phone does have to be on. It can be locked, but it needs to be on so the battery can't be dead because it still kind of sends the messages through the phone. So just keep in mind that this will not work on your Chromebook if your phone is turned off for any reason. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, those are things you can go ahead and do if you connect your uh, Android device to your Chromebook. 
hopefully this video helps and if you liked it go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this on how to make technology work better for you thanks